welcome back to my channel. I tried to get Yo-Yo to come do this intro with me, but she is asleep instead, so what are you gonna do? Anyway, welcome to this video. This is another trying tutorials video. And I'm doing another Kirsty Partridge art video. Don't worry, I'm not picking on you, Kirsty. Full disclosure. so horribly wrong but I'm gonna show that with you guys because you know why not anyway the video that I tried is the how to draw face in just five steps now I know where I went wrong she used carbon or charcoal pencils mostly most likely charcoal pencils I used graphite pencils because I'm an idiot I thought I had charcoal pencil <laughs> I thought I had charcoal pencils however I do not I did have the rest of the materials needed for example blending stump soft fluffy paintbrush which as you turned out I had a makeup brush that was the perfect Thing. I bought a precision eraser and obviously I've got tissue so and then a big eraser for big areas so without further ado I'm gonna let this video play enjoy so welcome to this train wreck that I call uh, trying tutorials <clears throat> So this week I'm trying out Kirsty Partridge Art's tutorial how to draw a face in just five steps. Now the five steps that she details are number one, block in essentially the darkest parts of shadow, so pupils, creases, eyebrows, eyelashes, nostrils, other creases as well. So this is what I'm doing, I'm basically blocking in all of the black parts of the image as you can see I've got my reference to the left and this is what I do I've done sort of all the black areas in the eyes the nostrils the mouth there was quite a dark shadow under her chin um, there's quite a few dark shadows in her ears a couple in her hair although I didn't do the hair in this one because this is just the skin and well this is just the face but I did the, the skin and the clothes as well and the shadow that was under her arm as well. So now, oh no, I've just done a couple more shadows. Now I'm moving on to step two, which is adding in the midtones using either a H or a HB pencil. For this one, I use the side of the pencil mostly uh, rather than using the point. Um, and the whole point of this is to build up the darkness by shading in different directions so you'll see me shading sort of like um, diagonally one way diagonally the other left to right right to left that kind of thing and basically I was just building up the different shades on each part of the drawing now I might have gone a little bit overboard with the shading however in real life it doesn't look too bad but when I scanned it in and sort of looked at it, it does look very severe. I might have to give this a go again, to be honest, and maybe try one of her other tutorials about sh shading with pencils. I did actually find one of her do's and don'ts videos, which details more clearly about how she does shading with pencils rather than shading with charcoal. I can imagine this tutorial would have been so much more easier if I'd used, just used a charcoal pencil, but <laughs> you live and learn, right? You can't make art without making mistakes or something like that. But yeah, so basically just um, adding in all the mid-tones that I can see within my reference, which there's quite a lot. Everything's kind of the same colour, so I'm trying to differentiate in this way by adding in different bits so as you can see here I did one sort of part and then I went across it again this 
just adding shading to the arm of the skin of the arm. The arm of the skin. Most of this kind of ends up looking pretty much the same, but there are subtle differences, subtle grades of shading across the arms. I think I might have used a softer pencil as well, but pressed lightly, although I'm not very good at pressing lightly at all when it comes to pencils. I mean, I know holding it at the end and using the side is supposed to like help with not pressing too hard, but I'm just a heavy handed mousse. So here we go. I'm trying to use the brush to soften up. Oh, this is step three. Blend out the shading. Start with paintbrush, circular motions move on to using tissue circular motions again smooth finish for the skin so at the moment i'm just using the paintbrush um and the one she uses is kind of like a fluffy one like that um, now i've moved on to the tissue however i did see a video a really helpful video on youtube that says they suggest using a more solid brush with a square tip so i went through my makeup items and I actually found one of these particular brushes so I use that down the line and I think that works a little bit better but anyway step four add more shading build more layers on areas that need to be darker and then use blending stump for detailed tiny areas like blending around the eyes and stuff I bought a new camera to film this um, unfortunately, I didn't realise that the Sony A5100 overheats and decides to turn off. So unfortunately, it turned off at that point and then when I turned it back on, it wasn't in focus. So I'm really sorry for this bit of footage. I'm just basically carrying on doing the same, adding more shading, darkening up areas where they need to be darkened. Please let this be over. Again, yeah, I am really sorry. Yay, back to stuff. So now I'm adding more shading, but I'm actually um, carrying on with the rest of the drawing apart from the hair don't do the hair again so I'm shading in different directions to build up the darkness on the clothing although I probably should have blended it out between adding layers maybe I'm not quite sure maybe I'll give that a go next time because I think I can still see quite a lot of my pencil strokes in each part of the drawing whereas I would prefer not to I guess I'm not really sure I think now that I went back in and added like more shading it does look better kind of although as I said I think I've gone a bit too over the top with this which kind of sucks My other problem with this is I don't think it looks very much like the reference at all, which sucks. It doesn't look like Margot Robbie to me. <clears throat> Although one of my friends said that she thinks the reference doesn't look like Margot Robbie either. Oh, here we go. I found my little square, squarey type brush that um, was quite good at blending out the different areas rather than the big fluffy brush, which kind of just didn't really do a huge amount, I don't think. Oh, tissue. So yeah, I'm just basically going over the skin again, trying to blend it all out so it's like an even skin mush. <laughs> ah, and at this point it starts looking very severe, yeah. Hmm. Maybe I should have taken back a bit with Hmm. 
See, we're learning, we're learning together. You see, I'm learning as well. <laughs> but to be fair, I'm quite proud of the amount of detail I managed to put into this drawing considering the reference. The skin is very one dimensional. It's got one shade across all of it. Oh, <laughs> and a tip for you guys. Make sure your blending stump is clean before you start using it, like I did, and muff everything up. And then I have to use the kneaded eraser to basically make it not so severe. Ugh. And then go back in and amend your mistakes again and again. Ooh, it looks very, um, I'm sure this didn't look so bad when I was doing it. <laughs> Why? Why? Oh. Yeah, here we go. So, here's what I've got so far. I, might, I finished off camera. But, um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. I mean, I think it's a hot, hot mess. But, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and click the little notification bell. If you found it informative, which would you, <laughs> then please consider sharing this video with your friends. If anything, just for a laugh. That's all for now, and I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye!